Say what your name is. Thank you. Yeah. Can you wave? Okay. I say mommy hi. Hi. I see sister. Violet, you want to say hi? Okay. Okay, let's let Violet say hi. Come on. Hi. Tell them what your name is. Judy. No, what's your name? Maya. Yeah. Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a clean slash organize with me. June likes to take this arm out and she says that she's a princess when she does it, so <clears throat> that's what she does. So I'm gonna take you around the house. We're gonna just kind of tackle different areas. I'm gonna tidy up our bedroom and then I want to refold the drawers. I have a couple, um, I have like a little dresser in our, not the large one. I might do that too. It's Maybe we'll do all of it. Um, but I just kind of want to organize it a little bit better, sort through it, see what's actually in there, and then hopefully I can get rid of some things. Um, so we'll do bedroom. I want to clean up the kitchen a little bit. We're doing laundry today. I also am going to show you guys the products that I used to clean this time. A lot of you guys ask for me to show you that. So I'll show you like all the cleaning products we use, all purpose sprays and whatnot. And I use all natural products in our house for cleaning. And I get all of them on Vitacost because they're super affordable. So I will link everything specifically down below if you guys, oh careful, do you want to shop? Um, but yeah, that's where I get all of my home cleaning stuff. Shop. Hope you guys all enjoy this and if you guys are new, Make sure to subscribe, Violet, don't touch that honey, and let's get started. So the first area I am tackling is the kitchen because if the kitchen is not clean, then I can't do anything with my life. So I'm putting away some dishes on the drying rack. There's a couple things that I never cleaned from the night before. I like to clean up, you know, whatever messes we made from breakfast too. And this is the bottle cleaner that we use for the girls, but I also use it for all of our dishes now because I love it that much. It is by Dapple and I cannot recommend it enough. It's so good. I'm also burning some essential oils to help us all breathe a little better because as you can tell, I'm wiping noses throughout this video. We're all still stuffed up. So here I am burning some peppermint and eucalyptus. We'd love to know your guys' favorite essential oil blends when you're sick. And then once I have everything pretty much put away, I'm going to wipe down the countertops so I can get rid of any crumbs. And believe it or not, even though our counters are white, they really hide so many crumbs. So when I wipe down the counters, it really gets a lot off. And I'm using the seventh generation cleaner. It's great for so many different surfaces. So I'm just using this to kind of tidy everything up. And also my sweatpants are from Shop Pink Blush. They're so comfortable. I will have them linked down below for you guys if you're interested. They also have them in gray as well. And then here I am filling up our little dish dispenser thing with more of the Dapple Cleaner. I get the refill pack on Vitacost, which is so convenient. You get a ton in here, it lasts you forever. And it's just more eco-friendly than buying, you know, more bottles every time. And then the other one I showed is from 7th Generation, another really good dish option too. The last thing I wanna do in the kitchen is just replace these dish towels, which were dirty. 
So these ones here are from Home Goods. I think the brand is Cynthia Rowley, and I thought they were so cute little hearts for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I've cleaned the kitchen. The only thing I need to do is just put these dishes away. They're pretty much dry. I had these in a bigger bowl with a bunch of fruit before, but it was taking up too much space, so I figured I'd put this in a smaller bowl. So it takes up less space on the counter. And then I usually just put like whatever is kind of half eaten over here, like a banana, avocado, whatever it is. And right now we do have all of these things on the counter. I usually have those put away up here, but since we're using them multiple times a day, every day right now, I'm leaving them out until we're all better. Just because I'm so bad at remembering vitamins, so I have to keep them out if I want to take them. And I do keep my prenatals out on the counter at all times. So right now I'm taking the Garden of Life, I get questions about this all the time. The Garden of Life Vitamin Code. I took these with the girls too, and they're just really good prenatals. So I take three of these a day. When I was pregnant with the twins, I took five a day, in case you guys are pregnant with twins. Shockingly, our dining table is free of everything. Like, we're really trying hard to keep the clutter down to a minimum and just keep up with everything. So. I just have to put my shoes away, which is, I always have shoes out. I can never get mad at Andrew for having anything, any shoes out because if he has one pair, I usually have like three pairs, so. I do have to clean this, the living room up, but I'm gonna wait till the girls are asleep because it's like a, it's kind of pointless to clean when they're playing out here. So we're just gonna keep on playing for a little bit until they're going to bed in about an hour. And then I'll just kind of put their toys away. They're pretty good at helping me clean up. So we are trying to keep certain toys in the playroom and certain toys out here so it's not just like a free for all. And those blocks should be in the playroom. So now what I do is I close the door. So like right now, since they're not in the playroom, I'm gonna go close the door so they can't bring more stuff out here. Moving on to some laundry. If you guys have girls, please tell me if you're in the same boat as me. It seems like I have one load of laundry that's andronized and it's like all black and darks. And then their laundry is just like a sea of pink. I think it's so funny. And for our detergent, I'm using this seventh generation free and clear. It's nice because it's in a giant jug. So I just pour some of that in. The other thing I like to pour into my laundry is a little bit of stain remover. I know products like this are meant to be sprayed directly onto things, but I have always just poured a little bit into my loads of laundry and it always has worked really well. So this one's from seventh generation, but um, any type of like natural stain remover works great in the, in the wash. Okay, so I'm tackling these drawers. So the top one is, these are all pajamas in here. And then down here, I have workout clothes. Pretty much workout clothes and like yoga pants. So this is what I want to get like cut down on because I have a lot of workout pants. And then down here like thicker sweats and bathing suits. So I'm first gonna empty out all of my pajamas onto the bed. Or wait, maybe I'll just do it right here and we'll start going through it. Okay, so first I'm taking everything out and putting it all on our ottoman just so I can see what I have. And then as I am laying everything out, I'm kind of weeding through all of my pieces. So if there's something that I just don't wear that much, if there's something that I don't need, I'm getting rid of that and that'll go in the donate pile.
And then to wipe all of my drawers down, I'm using these wipes from 7th Generation. I have so many 7th Generation cleaning products right now, but they work really well and you can just use them on a lot of different surfaces, so they're super handy. I like to keep some wipes in the kitchen or also just in the bathroom to wipe down whatever you need to. So on the far left side, I'm putting all of my lounge shorts. So pajama shorts and shorts that I can just wear around the house. And I realized that they weren't gonna fit. So I ended up moving like the thicker ones in or more towards the right. And then the ones on the left are all of more of my sleep pajama shorts. Next, I'm folding my thinner sleep shirts. So like my tank tops and shirts that are just made of a thinner material. And then I'm putting my crew neck t-shirts next to those and then pajama pants will be on the far right side. Moving on to my workout drawer, this was the area that I really needed to tackle because I didn't really know where things were. I have so many black pants, so it's like I didn't know what was what. So again, I'm taking everything out, putting it all on the ottoman, and as I'm pulling things out, I can see certain things that maybe I don't need to keep anymore that I can let go of. Again, on the far left side, I'm putting shorts. So these are all of my workout shorts. And I'm realizing that I truly love my Lululemon shorts the most. So from here on out, I'm going to be purchasing those shorts and not the Nike ones anymore because the Nike ones are a little too short for me. So if you guys have not tried the Lululemon workout shorts, they're so good. And I get, there's two lengths. I get the longer length. And then next to those, I'm putting my thinner tank tops, my, you know, kind of like racer back workout shirts. And then next to those are going my t-shirts, like with sleeves, uh, long sleeves. That's going in the bin right there. And on the far right side, I'm putting my yoga pants and folding those all up. I realized that I had a lot of like my maternity pants there and I wanted to keep those separate so I know what fits and what doesn't fit. So what I decided to do is put all of my maternity stuff down on the bottom drawer so that I can just go to that drawer and all of my like thicker sweats are there and all of my maternity stuff. And then last, I'm weaving through my bathing suit. So there's a lot in here that I don't get a ton of use out of. I do wear quite a few bathing suits. Like I like having different options. So I didn't get rid of a ton, but I did just get rid of some that I didn't really even wear much last year. If you don't wear them in a year, then usually you know you don't really, you don't need them, you can get rid of them. Okay, finished all three drawers. So let me show you what it looks like now. So on the left, I have all of my shorts. These are kind of like lounge shorts and pajama shorts. And then over here, I have like thinner pajama tops, like loungy tops. Here are thicker like crew neck kind of t-shirts that I sleep in. These are sets, pajama sets. Uh, two of them. I had another one that was like identical to this. 
black one. I just got rid of it because I don't need two of them. And then these are just like random pajama bottoms. Down here, I have my workout stuff. I put all the shorts over here. Over here, I have all my workout tank tops. Here, I have short sleeve, short sleeve shirts and a long sleeve shirt for working out. And then here are all of my workout pants. So there's a little extra space now, which is good. Then down here I have thick sweatpants. And then these are actually all maternity pants. There's one that's not maternity, but I, I use them as maternity. Like they stretch a lot. But the rest are maternity. So once I'm done being pregnant and back in shape again, I'll kind of like go through this and see if, if any of them are like can be worn normally. If not, then I will donate them. So here is everything that I'm going to donate. It's actually a ton of stuff. So I'm pretty happy with that. Moving on to our dresser. So this is something that I've been wanting to fix for quite some time. Basically, so we have this storage thing to the left, that mirrored, mirrored chest. And it used to be full of jewelry. And I just don't wear a ton of jewelry anymore. I wear pretty much the same pieces, just simple dainty necklaces. So that is, I'm gonna completely clear that out and get rid of that and just have a different kind of storage system for my jewelry, which I will show you. So first I just wanted to kind of clean the area up. So I just Dysoned around, got rid of dust because this area doesn't get clean much, like especially behind that. So if you guys are interested in this Dyson, I believe it's the V7 animal. And yes, it gets some complaints, like bad reviews because it doesn't hold a charge super long. But honestly, I don't use it that often. Like, or I use it often, but I don't use it for that long period of time. So for me, it works just fine. Okay, so first I'm going through all of my bracelets and watches putting Andrews in his drawer, but I'm just getting the things that I use uh, frequently. And then I honestly got rid of like all of my rings because I never wear any rings other than my wedding rings. And then on the side, I have all of my necklaces. So on the right side is where I used to keep like my statement in longer necklaces. And there's like literally four necklaces there because I just don't, I don't wear long necklaces anymore. So I got rid of most of those. And on the left side are all of my dainty smaller necklaces. Oh my gosh, guys, when I was going through these, they got so tangled, it was insane. Like I was so frustrated. Eventually I got them all sorted through, but I did weed out a bunch of them and just kept all the ones that I wear frequently and it's, the way I'm gonna store them, you'll see, is just better because I can see them all now and I do think they'll get a lot more use. Okay, so the first new thing that I bought for the top of my dresser was this gold storage little box thing. And I just put all of my bracelets in here. So these are everything that I own for bracelets. I can see all of them. I have my beaded ones on the left and my bangles on the right. And I just love the fact that I can see them, I can appreciate them more, and I just think it looks really pretty. And then I got this jewelry necklace stand from, I believe, gosh, West Elm or CB2, something like that, but I will definitely have both of these linked down below for you guys. I like this one because it has all those little um, areas where you can hang them. So instead of just having like one long bar, this gives you more options and I just love the way it looks. I like the marble base and I just am really happy with how it all turned out. So here you can see it all finished. I have all of my jewelry here now. Everything is on display so I know I know what I have and I just feel like it's all gonna get a lot more use this way. So 
so I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of this cleaning and organization. My body is tired. I need to take a break and rest while the girls are napping. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. If you like organizing, cleaning types of videos, let me know and I will do more of them for you. Thanks so much for spending some time with me and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.